Recently, I got an email from a viewer that had the title DVD cheaters are getting stronger. And to my disbelief, this video contained one of the craziest hacks I have ever seen in Dead by Daylight. First of all, the lobby already looked really bad. We have a pig and a ghost face playing as survivors. But this is something that was previously seen. But trust me, the video gets worse and worse the longer you watch it. We start the match and we can see 4 survivors, Zarina, Dwight, one Kate that was not in the lobby and another Dwight called DVD spawn character. I will give you one second to guess who the hacker is. So the video starts out normal, it almost looks like there is no ghost face or pig killers at all in the game, but then when the killer finds where the spawn character was healing, then whoop, if you guessed he was the hacker then you were right but the killer can get a down on the cheater. Well done, man. So the killer proceeds to hook the pesky hacker when suddenly a Dwight comes to the rescue to body block. But wait a second, this Dwight is not the same one from the lobby. And wait another second, how did he heal while being carried? The hacker gets to escape from the grasp of the killer and is now on the floor. So Ada Wong takes the opportunity to heal him for the points. Wait, wait, hold on, Ada Wong? Where did Ada Wong come from? Wait, how many survivors do we have in this match currently? And if you think that was bad enough, check this out. The survivors start multiplying. There are so many and even one of them has become a Nia. And did he really just spawn from the sky? Wait, what's going on? So, hackers have the ability to spawn bots into the match and down them all at the same time. It's causing massive lag. Not only that, if you check the last frame of the video you will see that there were two hillbillies in this match as well. Imagine how many people can have their games crash due to a cheater spamming bots into a match. Imagine playing on the Nintendo Switch against someone that can melt your CPU and fan. In all my times playing Dead by Daylight, this is one of the most insane cheats in the game because they can outright crash your system. Just to provide some extra context. This is not the first time I have seen something like that. But do you know when was the last time I saw something like this? Back in 2016. And this exploit was something available in Dead by Daylight when it was still in its infancy. You're telling me that this is back into the game when it's supposed to be way more sophisticated than it was back then? That's wild. I have no idea how this kind of stuff can bypass the supposed anti-cheat that DVD has in the game. Now this kind of stuff is just blatant even, just like the hacker I got some days ago while trying to record gameplay footage for my videos, who was speeding extremely fast. Now I haven't been held hostage once while playing Dead by Daylight, I feel like I am not a big enough content creator yet, or the fact that I don't basically stream makes me unattractive for them, but something I can and will say now that the ball is rolling is that behavior needs to do something about their report system. That's the biggest complaint I have. Some days ago, I played a match of Pig and I recorded it. During that match, I knew the survivors I got were going to be the sweaty ones, just based on their movement. But it turned out to be worst. I found this Nancy, I hit her, she goes and throws down a pallet and instantly heals on my face. Now at this point I was seriously debating whether this was even possible in the game at all, because the heal was extremely fast. I end up downing her later again and when I pick her up, the Feng Min appears out of my sight to blind me from my right. I even turn left and look down to not get flashed, yet I still end up being flashed. Now again I cannot confirm if the game works like that or not, but based on my own experiences, this type of flashing is not something I am used at all. I have had so many close calls while playing killer that I avoided by doing exactly the same as I am doing here and I am aware that looking up or down straight up is better than what I did here. But if you check the recording slowly you will see that I was looking completely at the left, you couldn't even see Feng Min on the original angle. But anyways, the worst part of this cheat is the fact that they were all on anonymous mode and according to Nancy she was not cheating, she was giving the medkit. And as you can see, only one person came to the match with a medkit, which was Nia. But she was using her medkit from the start of the match till the last time I saw her. And most importantly, Nia did not play like she had cheats at all. Plus, 
Nancy had no perks that gave her any boost on healing speeds. Nancy gave Feng Min her flashlight to pick up the medkit, so either they are lying and she just had the old perks hack, which based on her choice of perks seems unlikely, or someone spawned the our powered medkit into the game. So not only can cheaters now spawn survivors, but they can also spawn items and overpowered ones too. And this was mild in my opinion, but imagine being a new player at the game that loses this way. And guess what? The fact that they put themselves in the anonymous mode made it harder for me to report them. A new player will have no idea how to do so. With the recent increase in streamers' dissatisfaction with the game, I felt it was just right to join in and also showcase this problem. I have, in all the time I have been playing this game, never seen cheats that break the game to the point of the first video I showed, and I cannot imagine playing on a Nintendo Switch or PlayStation only to have it crash because of a hacker that has access to that type of cheats. And with how the current report system is set up, I have no idea if any of the hackers I ever reported were banned, even if I have video evidence. So please behavior, if any of you are watching this video, then add a better reporting system and let people report players in anonymous mode. I understand that having a perfect anti-cheat is basically impossible, but I also never saw people hacking a game so bad they have a developer tools in a live match. I would also like to point out that, in my opinion, the game is in the best balanced state it has ever been. And I am not saying it's perfectly balanced, and there are still a lot of problems to be solved, but they are caused by the inherent nature of Dead by Daylight being an asymmetrical game. In terms of perks, this game is pretty balanced. It's the first time ever I have no clear build as a survivor that is absolutely meta compared to the rest, and as with killers, I have a lot of choices now that barbecue is not mandatory, and a lot of killers I would feel they fit in A, B tier more than C and D. This hacker problem is ruining the game quite a lot and a lot of players, especially new ones, will be repelled after seeing the most popular content creators about how bad the hacker situation is. The craziest part about all of this is that this is not the top level of what cheaters can do because they actually can do DDoS attacks to you because there are IP leaks and it's crazy how I could talk 8 minutes about this topic without even bringing this up. There's streamers using VPNs to play DVD. Imagine having to use a VPN to play your favorite game. This is something that behavior has to make a statement. If you have any experiences with cheaters or hackers, let me know in the comments. I would like to compile all of the types of unique cheats that hackers can use in order to ruin other people's enjoyment of the game. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.